Breaking news just coming in, a 6.1 magnitude earthquake has struck the southern Philippines. At precisely 7.07 a.m. on an otherwise quiet Saturday, the earth beneath the sea near Sarangani Island in Davao Occidental convulsed with the force of a magnitude 6.9 earthquake. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, FIVOLGS, swiftly confirmed the seismic event, identifying the epicenter approximately 98 kilometers southeast of Sarangani Island. In the minutes that followed, the initial magnitude was revised, first to 6.4, then to 6.1, highlighting the often fluid nature of seismic readings. Originating from a shallow depth of just 10 kilometers, the earthquake was a direct consequence of tectonic movements occurring deep within the planet's crust. This was no ordinary quake. It struck alarmingly close to the Philippine Trench, a geological feature notorious for its seismic volatility. This vast subduction zone has long been the subject of concern among geoscientists, who warn that it harbors the potential for cataclysmic megathrust earthquakes events capable of redrawing coastlines and altering the course of human history. The proximity of this recent tremor to such a dangerous fault line has reignited fears. Could this be an ominous prelude to something far more destructive? Might it be a signal from the Earth's depths that a larger upheaval is quietly brewing? The tremor's effects were widely felt across the region. In Malungon, Sarangani, Ground shaking reached intensity 5, strong enough to jolt residents and cause minor disturbances. Nearby areas such as Kiyamba and General Santos City experienced intensity 4 shaking, while a broader swath, including Magsaysay and Davao City, Matanao and Davao del Sur, Don Marcelino and Davao Occidental, Nabunturan and Davao de Oro, Gingug City and Maisimis Oriental, and various towns in Sarangani, South Cotabato, and Sultan Kudarat reported intensity three vibrations. Though no tsunami warning was issued, the quake stood as a stark testament to the ever-present seismic threats lurking beneath the region. Beneath the stunning terrain of the Philippine archipelago lies a restless, unseen world. Here, massive geological forces are constantly at odds, colliding, grinding and shifting in silence until they unleash their fury. Tectonic plates beneath the Philippine Sea are locked in a relentless struggle, sculpting islands, carving trenches, and giving rise to the earthquakes and eruptions that define this volatile region. Understanding why the Philippines is one of the most seismically active places on Earth requires delving into the dynamic narrative of the Philippine Sea Plate a story still unfolding beneath the ocean floor, with consequences that may shape generations to come. The Philippine Sea Plate sits at one of the most tectonically volatile crossroads on Earth. Caught amid the titanic forces of three major neighboring plates, the Pacific Plate to the east, the Eurasian Plate to the northwest, and the Sunda Plate to the west and southwest. This uniquely compressed region is not merely a junction of drifting landmasses, but a cauldron of geodynamic tension, where nearly all boundaries are sites of active convergence. Instead of drifting apart or gently sliding past one another, the tectonic plates here collide, dive beneath each other, crumple, and on occasion rupture the surface with catastrophic force. On its eastern frontier, the Philippine Sea Plate overrides the Pacific Plate, which plunges into the mantle in a continuous act of subduction. This tectonic descent has carved out the Izubonin, Mariana, and Yap trenches, some of the deepest features in the world's oceans, stretching more than 3,000 kilometers across the seafloor. These trenches are not mere geological curiosities. They are enduring scars of a long-standing struggle between opposing plates. The subduction process unleashes powerful seismic energy, with earthquakes frequently originating at depths surpassing 600 kilometers, indicating immense pressure exerted deep within the Earth. Yet, despite the intensity of the subduction, this region experiences surprisingly few giant megathrust earthquakes. Scientists suggest that this could be due to weak coupling between the colliding plates, which allows them to slide past each other with relative smoothness, releasing stress through smaller, more frequent tremors instead of 
devastating seismic shocks. Behind the sweeping arcs of volcanic islands created by this subduction lies an equally dynamic phenomenon, back arc extension. As the crust melts and magma rises to form volcanoes, the land behind these arcs stretches and thins. This back arc spreading rifts the volcanic chains away from the core of the Philippine Sea Plate, producing new seafloor and initiating additional earthquakes. These extensions contribute to the intricate web of instability that defines the region's geology, further cementing the Philippine Sea Plate's status as one of the most restive on the planet. South of the Mariana Arc, the Pacific Plate continues its descent into the mantle beneath the Yap Islands, along the Yap Trench. This trench marks another limb of the relentless eastern boundary, where oceanic crust is consumed and recycled into the deep earth. Like its neighboring trenches, it is a generator of island arcs and seismic unrest, part of the tectonic mosaic known as the Pacific Ring of Fire, a belt notorious for its fiery volatility. As the Philippine Sea Plate extends north and west, it begins its own descent beneath the Eurasian Plate, giving rise to the Ryukyu Trench and the island arc stretching from southern Japan to Taiwan. This trench system, too, is accompanied by a back arc rift, the Okinawa Trough, evidence of the same stretching process seen farther south. This interplay of subduction and extension drives frequent volcanic eruptions and earthquake swarms, sometimes triggering tsunamis that race across the surrounding seas. At the southern end of the Ryukyu Trench, the tectonic theater becomes even more dramatic. Near Taiwan, the dynamic changes from classic subduction to arc continent collision. Here, the northern tip of the Luzon Arc crashes into the thick, buoyant edge of the Eurasian continent. This violent convergence drives the rapid uplift of mountain ranges, fractures the crust with active faults, and fuels intense seismicity. Taiwan, perched on this collision zone, endures relentless geological reshaping, its mountains rising, its valleys trembling, a vivid and ongoing testament to the raw power of plate tectonics at work. The western margin of the Philippine Sea Plate presents a striking display of tectonic complexity. Here it converges with the Sunda Plate along a volatile oblique boundary, a region defined not only by vertical subduction but also by horizontal shear. This shifting frontier stretches from the northern reaches of Luzon to the waters of the Salibe Sea in the south, skirting the western edge of the Philippine archipelago. Unlike more straightforward subduction zones where one tectonic plate plunges steeply beneath another, oblique convergence introduces a lateral component that distorts the crust and fosters the formation of strike-slip faults. This dynamic makes the Philippines a geological rarity, one of the few places on Earth where subduction occurs on opposing flanks, producing a relentless tectonic grip that twists, compresses, and pulls at the landscape from both sides. Cutting across this intricate setting is the Philippine Fault, an immense strike-slip system that snakes over 1,200 kilometers through the spine of the archipelago. Far from being a relic of ancient activity, this fault remains active and dangerous. Its destructive potential was demonstrated in 1990 when a magnitude 7.6 earthquake struck Luzon, devastating large parts of the island and underscoring the fault's capacity for a sudden, catastrophic movement. The Philippine Fault is not alone in its threat. It is part of a dense network of intra-arc faults including the Cotabato Fault in Mindanao and the Verde Passage Cebuyan Sea Faults in the central Philippines. These structures are not dormant, they remain poised to trigger powerful earthquakes with little to no warning. Subduction remains an ongoing process along both flanks of the archipelago. To the east, the Philippine Sea Plate plunges beneath the islands along the Philippine Trench and its northern extension, the East Luzon Trough. The East Luzon Trough, in particular, is considered a nascent subduction zone, an embryonic trench slowly evolving as it propagates northward. To the west, the Sunda Plate descends beneath the archipelago through several major trenches, the Manila Trench near Luzon, the Negros Trench beneath the Visayas, and the Sulu and Cotabato Trenches farther south. 
Each trench plays a crucial role in generating the frequent seismic activity that defines the Philippines as one of the world's most earthquake-prone regions. At the boundaries of these trenches, tectonic violence gives way to even more complex collisions between island arcs and continental fragments. In the north, the Manila Trench terminates where Luzon meets the southern edge of Taiwan in a fierce arc continent collision. A similar interaction occurs in the south, where the Sulu-Borneo block presses into Luzon near the island of Mindoro. These collision zones act as tectonic choke points, where crust is compressed, thrust upward, and contorted into mountains and faults, landscapes shaped as much by beauty as by geologic danger. Throughout the 20th century and into the present day, the Philippine Sea Plate and its shifting boundaries have triggered some of the most devastating earthquakes in the region's history. These seismic catastrophes were not random events, but the inevitable result of colossal geological forces at work, where vast slabs of Earth's crust push, grind, and slide past one another with staggering energy. Encircled by active subduction zones, the Philippine Sea Plate stores stress over decades, only to release it in violent, unpredictable ruptures. Among the most significant of these events were seven massive quakes across Japan, Taiwan, and the Philippines, each shaped by distinct fault systems and tectonic conditions, yet all pointing to the same inescapable truth. This region sits at the mercy of an ever-moving Earth, where destruction and discovery go hand in hand. The devastating Great Kanto earthquake of 1923 occurred along the Sagami Trough, a volatile subduction zone where the Philippine Sea Plate is relentlessly driven beneath the Eurasian Plate. With an estimated magnitude ranging between 7.9 and 8.2, this seismic event unfolded as a classic megathrust earthquake, an abrupt rupture along the plate interface unleashing immense energy. The relentless subduction beneath Honshu gradually accumulated tectonic stress until it gave way, sending powerful vertical and horizontal tremors surging through Tokyo and Yokohama. The timing and intensity proved catastrophic. The widespread use of flammable wooden buildings ignited fires that quickly spiraled out of control, contributing significantly to the enormous loss of life. In 1948, a different kind of earthquake struck the city of Fukui. Unlike the subduction-related mega-thrust of 1923, this event occurred entirely within the Eurasian Plate itself. Triggered by reverse faulting along the Fukui Fault Zone, a segment of the broader Wakasa Bay Seismic Zone, it registered a magnitude of 7.1. Though lower in magnitude, its shallow focus and inland epicenter beneath a heavily populated area magnified its destructiveness. The fault's upward thrusting motion violently shook the ground, causing buildings to collapse in rapid succession. The intensity of the shaking focused directly beneath Fukui City resulted in profound devastation and tragic loss. The Great Hanshin Awaji Earthquake of 1995, also known as the Kobe Earthquake, served as a sobering example of the destructive force of strike-slip faulting. Originating on the Nojima Fault, a segment of the massive median tectonic line, the quake reached a magnitude of 6.9. As the fault ruptured with a right lateral strike-slip motion, where the ground on either side moved horizontally past the other, it generated severe ground shaking. The horizontal displacement wreaked havoc on Kobe's urban landscape, with buildings, bridges, and highways collapsing. This earthquake occurring within the crust of the Eurasian Plate rather than along a subduction boundary, underscored the seismic complexity underlying Japan's densely faulted crust. Taiwan's seismic history offers its own sobering examples. The 1935 Shinshu Taichung earthquake was triggered by activity along the Shihtan and Tunsu Chiao faults, nestled in the tectonically active center of the island. With a magnitude of 7.1, the earthquake resulted from thrust faulting, a process in which one block of the Earth's crust is driven upward over another. The shallow depth of the rupture and the presence of soft surface sediments intensified the ground motion, severely damaging towns built atop these vulnerable foundations. The underlying cause was the ongoing collision between the Philippine Sea Plate and the Eurasian Plate, which continues to deform the island's interior. 
Decades later, central Taiwan was once again shaken to its core by the 1999 Chichi earthquake, one of the most intensely studied seismic events in the region. Striking along the Chilungbu Fault, a major thrust fault slicing through central Taiwan, this magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake ruptured the surface for over 85 kilometers. In some locations, the ground on the hanging wall was thrust upward by an astonishing 8 meters, reshaping the landscape and destroying entire communities. The quake was intimately tied to the tectonic convergence between the Philippine Sea Plate and the Eurasian Plate, whose collision forces continue to compress and uplift the island. Beyond the tragic toll of more than 2,400 lives lost, the Chichi earthquake significantly advanced scientific knowledge about fault behavior and emphasized the life-saving importance of earthquake-resistant design and building practices. In 1976, a powerful earthquake struck the Mora Gulf region in the southern Philippines, triggered by tectonic activity along the Cotabato Trench, a subduction zone where the Celebs Sea Plate descends beneath the southwestern margin of the Philippine archipelago. This magnitude 7.6 event was a textbook megathrust earthquake, occurring along the plate interface beneath the Sulu and Mindanao Seas. The rupture displaced the ocean floor with such force that it generated a catastrophic tsunami, which surged ashore under the cover of darkness. The upward thrust of the seabed displaced an enormous volume of seawater, propelling destructive waves inland with little or no warning. Entire communities along the coastline were overwhelmed, and the ensuing deluge claimed the lives of thousands. Most of the more than 8,000 fatalities were due to drowning. Fourteen years later, in 1990, another magnitude 7.6 earthquake struck the northern part of the country, this time emanating from the Dig Dig segment of the Philippine Fault Zone, a major strike-slip fault system that runs the length of the archipelago. The rupture extended over 125 kilometers, unleashing widespread destruction. In cities like Baguio and Cabanatuan, buildings collapsed amid violent ground shaking, while in the coastal plains of Dagupan, the shaking caused the ground to liquefy, transforming solid earth into a fluid-like slurry that engulfed roads and structures. This seismic rupture was driven by the intense tectonic pressure exerted between the Philippine Sea Plate and the Sunda Plate which compress and deform the region with relentless force. These devastating earthquakes offer more than geological insight. They form harrowing chapters in the broader human experience of living on unstable ground. Each one, whether caused by a mega thrust rupture, a strike slip fault, or reverse faulting, underscores the complex tectonic character of the Philippine Sea Plate. From the subduction trenches of Mindanao to the densely populated urban fault zones of Japan and Taiwan, the entire region bears the imprint of a restless planet in motion. Far from being a static piece of Earth's crust, the Philippine Sea Plate is a geodynamic engine. Its borders are defined by zones of subduction, faulting, and seafloor spreading, each a testament to the immense geological forces at work. The Philippines, with its dramatic topography of mountains, islands, trenches, and volcanoes, owes its very existence to these processes. But beneath the region's natural beauty lies a deeper truth, an enormous reservoir of energy that can be unleashed without warning. Earthquakes, eruptions, and tsunamis are not random events here. They are the language of the Earth's tectonic pulse. A more recent example, the magnitude 6.9 earthquake off Davao Occidental offers a sobering reminder that these forces remain active. If this exploration of Earth's seismic forces resonated with you, consider sharing it. And for more insights into the natural events shaping our world, don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay safe and stay vigilant.